come with me while we do some basic maintenance. New goal, one video at least a week. It's gonna be super hard to do it, but we are going to try and do it. So come along for the journey. First one, some basic maintenance, real quick and easy on the GTR. Let's get to it. First step, jack up your car. Second step, pop your hood. Third step, take off your oil filter or your oil cap. Or loosen it so that way you get better flow when you crack your drain plug. Next is the drain plug. Next step, grab your ratchet and your socket. Next, locate your nifty Nismo drain plug. And crack it loose. Might be a little harder. Make sure you push up against the oil pan when it gets loose to prevent any spillage. Like so. Let it drain. Get your oil filter. For us, it's right there. Also, now's a good time to inspect your magnetic drain plug for any material. Thankfully, yet again, we have none. Also, replace your crush washer every time. That is this piece right here. Now that you got your old filter off, old crush washer off, put your new crush washer on your bolt, or on your drain plug, get your new filter. Get a nice new Nissan filter. You lube up the O-ring. And now we put it on. Oil filter on. We are currently under the car. And for some returning viewers, you were seeing on a previous video that if you have a drain plug on a diff or like a differential transmission, anything that requires a 3 8 or a half inch size drive, they're a pain in the butt. So how you get that out is we got our fancy dancy map gas torch you can get from Lowe's and then we are just going to heat up the fill plug which is the top and the drain plug which is the bottom and then once we heat that up for about 20-30 seconds it'll come right off so I'm going to do that now we have the I guess yeah well the drain plug off of the front differential and as you can see it is nice and clean because I cleaned it but this little pit is magnetic and it's meant to catch all the debris it's gonna be normal for you to have like a sludgy paste imagine like pudding it's gonna be like that uh, if you have any flakes or like shards like metal shards in it that's when you have to be worried but same thing as like draining your oil any tiny little oil film on it which like a thick paste is normal it's doing what it's supposed to do just clean it off really well and now we got to put it back in and fill it up with some Valvoline and the front will be done and then we have to do that for the rear and the transmission because we have VIR coming up in October and we want to be prepared and I also want to do some other stuff before that so we're kind of doing like some track prep and if you're watching this on how to just do basic maintenance then you probably are too so let's keep going Alright, we got the transmission refilled and how you do that is you're going to have a little bong right there right next to the prop shaft of the front wheel drive uh, I guess transfer case to the rear anyways uh, you're just going to take that off put that back in and add fluid it till it comes out of that hole and it's about 4.1 uh, we did the rear already and same process as the front and then if you want to do the transfer case you're going to have a drain plug 
right here but you're gonna actually take the shifter off up in the car and then have a Labrador try to help you and then you can fill it up through there all right the last step would be to top off your fluids lower your car and for summary front and rear diff calls for 8590 gear oil uh, gl5 which is a specific type of fluid, so whenever the gears clash, it's meant for that. GL4 is for synchro transmissions with synchros, so you need GL5 for the front and rear diff of 8590. It's very hard to find 85. Um, you can run 75, or I ran 8090 with Valvoline. Um, you can do 140, but that is real thick, and that's more or less meant for a track day, which we will use whenever we do the track day coming up. And then the transmission is GL4 uh, which is specifically meant for transmissions with bronze synchros so if you get GL5 and put it in that kind of transmission you'll essentially disintegrate the uh, bronze bushings in the synchros in the transmission so don't do that and then we just did 10W30 VR1 Valvoline uh, they're all out of 2050 at literally every single store within 10 mile radius and we went and checked everyone so it is what it is and then we have to do the transfer case and that is a specific type of Nissan oil from my understanding so we'll stay tuned on that and that'll probably be a separate video but real basic video quart uh, about one quart 1.1 quarts of gear oil for the front and rear diff each uh, four quarts of um, synchro mesh gear oil for the transmission and then 5.5, I put 6 quarts in the motor just because if you're going side to side, you don't want sloshing, you don't want starvation. So, real easy, super easy uh, maintenance video on the Gator. So, some people know it, you can read it on the forum, but I haven't found anyone covering it. And it can get confusing if you don't know what you're talking about, or if you don't know what you're looking for, or if you're just having a bad day. So, uh, that's what this is for. So, as always, if you stayed this far, thank you so much for watching. And like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video. And Colt, have a good night.